Welcome to Testing AI. In this channel, I break down different AI tools and keep you up to date with the AI world. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to go all over filtering in Playground AI, which is this section right here. There's a bunch of filters mentioned here and I have categorized them into four categories. I call them realistic designs, futuristic designs, anime and comics, and artistic designs. I'm going to go over all the different categories one by one and I'll have timestamps for all the sections mentioned in the description below. All right, let's get started. So I'm using this image as base and this was an image already generated by Mark and there's a prompt already in place and there's a bunch of exclusions which removes all the things that might make the image more deformed. So there's two heads, elongated body, double image, multiple heads, all of these things are removed. So the final result is more clean. Keeping the image dimensions at 512 by 768, prompt guidance at 7, quality at 50. I have already copied the prompt right here and added all the exclusions right there. I have already generated the first image without any filtering. Make sure to stay till the end of the video because I'm going to go over every single filter mentioned here. All right, the first category is realistic designs. So these are designs which will bring the picture pretty close to realism. So the first one I'm going to go over is masterpiece. The second one is cinematic. The next one is cinematic warm. The next one is royalistic. Next one is perfume. Then it's Instaport. And the last one is Colourpop. As you see, all of these pictures are pretty close to a real person's face. Even though it's clear that they are generated by AI, uh, they look pretty similar to what a real person would look like. So I think the use cases of these pictures are like for websites. So if you want to use headshots of a specific kind of persona in your website, I think these filters are really good to generate realistic or realism. So these images won't be any good if you try to create something like a comic strip. Talking about comics, the next category I'm going to talk about is anime and comics. So for the same prompt, if you click the filter Playtoon, you see this one looks very much like an actual cartoon character. This one looks like a real person. This looks like a cartoon interpretation of that. Let me go over the next few filters in this category. The next one is poly mode. You see this looks almost like a toy. Next one is volatize. The next one is app icons. Let's try the next one, which is retro anime. To me, this definitely looks like something of a comic character. The next one is origami. How about Play-Doh? Just like the filter name, this looks like something made of Play-Doh. The next one is Pixel. To me, this looks like a character from the game Street Fighter. The last one is Food Made. As you see, most of these look like they could belong to a comic strip. Like this one's pretty cute for someone who's under three years old. Next category is futuristic designs. I'm taking my inspiration from this picture, which says a painting of impressive landscapes that attracts attention and calms nerves. The first filter I wanna go over is retro futurism. You see how this looks like it's either set in the future or it's in a different planet. The next one is saturated space. This one almost took an entire minute to generate and like the name says, it looks like it's set in space. That looks like some kind of a comet coming towards the Earth or this might not be Earth. This might be a different planet which doesn't exist yet. Let's try the next one. It's called Wasteland. Like the name suggests, it looks like a part of society which is outside of the traditional society. There's a lot of industrial waste. There's a lot of smoke. It still looks futuristic uh, in the sense that the future is kind of bleak and polluted. The so next one is Ominous Escape. This one actually generated two images together and both of them look like it's set in a different part of society, something like uh, Jurassic Park. 
they even has some kind of a creature flying on top. And I don't know if this is a human or an alien, but overall it does look futuristic to me. The next one is Spielberg. This one looks like there's some kind of a space battle going on. There might be dragons or this might be some kind of um, a lightning strike. This is also going towards a future which is more bleak or negative where there might be the earth burning down or there might be f fires in the sky. And the last one for futuristic designs is the haze. So I think this one is the most positive or the most beautiful to me. This one is trying to portray what hell would look like and this one would try to portray what heaven would look like. So I think these designs are really relevant if you are trying to maybe write a book and you're trying to create a new kind of society or a new kind of universe which doesn't exist and then you can use these prompts to play around with that society and create designs for your own book. You can make the future look both negative and positive. The last category, I'm going to use this prompt for Old Knight in Armor and I have some exclusions which can remove any kind of deformations. Let's try the first one without any filters. Cool, so we have a knight in armor. To get started with artistic designs, the first one is analog diffusion. Cool, so this is really unique. So it has an armor and it has an entire knight on the top of the armor as his head. I would call this pretty artistic. This is definitely not close to reality and it's something which you can buy as a poster. The next one is Polaroid. This one is another knight. However, it looks like it's taken with the Polaroid camera. The next one is oil painting. As you see, this is a beautiful interpretation of a knight. However, it's in the form of an oil painting. The next one is Geometriba style. To me, this looks closer to a ninja than a knight or maybe something based in a futuristic society. The next one is Ethereal Low Poly. This one kind of made it a bit more colorful, adding some gold and red colors. The next one is Flat Palette. This one also looks like a painting to me, but a different style. Next one is wall art. I think this is the most unique one because it generated a knight with a completely different armor style than any of the others. It almost looks like he's not even that well protected. And the last one is black and white. This one generated a knight which is more of a 3D style with a black and white color scheme. As you see, all these pictures are a lot more artistic than the other ones. There's no cartoon characters, there's no realism. It's trying to create artistic interpretations of whatever prompt I put in. So I think this is more suited to create designs that you can sell for t-shirts or maybe you can create wall art or maybe you can use it in your room if you have a specific theme. I hope you had as much fun watching these designs being generated as I had creating them. Hopefully now you have an idea of what kind of filters you can use based on the styles that you want to create. I hope you got some value from this video and if you did enjoy this video make sure to click the like and hit the subscribe button. I have a lot more videos coming up about AI art and other kinds of prompts. So till the next video, thank you so much.